hey how are you doing <laughs> i'm a great fan first of all and of website your nurse and i appreciate what you guys are doing yeah and great stuff okay karan so can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing working on and uh... all right so right now so first of all i am an agency owner i own we do e consult with one of the digital agencies in bangalore so do you think in india people are listening to podcasts a lot yes yes because mm-hmm. why i'm saying that because mm-hmm. um, i got inspired from digital pratik if you have heard mm-hmm. of him or if you have yeah, seen yeah, yeah, him yeah. correct so he has around 200000 downloads on his podcast so okay. that is a great feat and that tells me that digital marketing space may if that podcast can do 200000 it means ki he hasn't even reached 1% of the potential audience whom he can serve you can use podcasting to make money also that podcast can be used as a lead magnet to get mm-hmm. top of the funnel traffic mm-hmm. and get people into your funnel and then later sell them mm-hmm. any products or services which mm-hmm. you have okay. you can use podcasting as a brand building initiative okay. you know to set okay. your authority so if you have a podcast and if you yeah. are speaking something on the digital platform people would believe what you're saying yeah. so eventually down the funnel you have customer base building up so later when you release any product Okay. that would be sold yeah because the authority is already built via you creating a lot of episodes and you know generating yeah. roi out of it okay if we mm. talk about any blog or how to start a website if website owners is starting with a podcast they would mm. definitely go with it because mm. there are a lot of people interested in listening to you know how a website can help them out but of yeah. course showcasing them how to do it is completely on a video platform yeah. but showcasing the advantages is definitely yeah. you can do via audio I will come back to our audience okay our audience are mostly brand new website owners they have an idea and yeah. they have just started a website so for a person who just started a website what is the simplest way for him to bring in traffic simplest way if he is developed a new website first of yeah. all he has to make sure that the website is good looking mm-hmm. it it's it is organized it is fast loading mm-hmm. right because mm-hmm. before cuz before bringing traffic you have to make sure that these things are in place because mm-hmm. first impression is always the last impression so mm-hmm. if you don't have a website firstly developed you won't have the first traffic as a recurring traffic mm-hmm. right so you make sure that first of all your website is in place in in a good condition next bringing traffic simple is that first thing is seo of course mm-hmm. that seo you start off the journey all right mm-hmm. second you have to make sure that you are building a good organic presence on your social media by providing content mm-hmm. once you develop a good social presence you are providing content you have a leadership or a followership of yours and that content doesn't need a website right you first you can provide a content from your own expertise so when you have a content when you have a facebook group when you have mm-hmm. some good sources you can when you launch launch on your website you can have the traffic ready to come mm-hmm. if the audience new audience who is doing website will won't have an email list but you yeah. have the ability to create content mm-hmm. you know on to social platforms and mm-hmm. bring in traffic from social media first mm-hmm. you can also run paid advertisements mm-hmm. plus a new business owner would definitely have money to invest so start running facebook ads whatever blogs you are producing promote mm-hmm. those blogs via facebook ads to your target audience if you have to then at the same time you are building your social media content you have instagram which is one of the biggest source of you know um, um your traffic mm-hmm. so what you can do is you can grow your instagram to 10000 mm-hmm. followers mm-hmm. because after that you get the swipe up option Mm-hmm. right so i have to see my new blog mm-hmm. that's what new influencers are focusing upon to mm-hmm. to cross the 10000 mark because that marks a new traffic source for them yeah. which is an like instagram story story mm-hmm. earlier it was instagram because the link in the bio you can just click on that and visit the mm-hmm. any website but the mm-hmm. story swipe up is a huge potential for a lot of people mm-hmm. to sell their courses to bring more traffic to their blog so i what i would recommend new people who are starting in the website uh, please make a landing page uh, install elementor thrive architect as software and create a lead magnet around your business and offer them and collect their email addresses mm-hmm. because that traffic is the traffic which you already have which is ready made mm-hmm. after that what will be the way of monetizing it monetizing a blog yeah because when you ask them to pay for ads they are definitely going to ask okay how do i earn money through this for example correct so for example if they spend around 10000 rupees and they have built a subscriber base of let's say 300 people mm-hmm. all right now what they are doing is uh, they are doing or 300 people would be less i would say around 500 to 700 people they have built an email list okay now what they have to do is they have to drip marketing they have to do drip marketing which means they have to deliver value to the email list 
So it's an auto responder sequence. Yes, yeah. auto responder sequence. Once you have built an audience, now that audience trusts you. Mm. If that audience trusts you, they will buy from you. That's how. Mm. That's what the principle is. If people mm. know, yeah. people only buy from people who they trust, know, mm. and you know, can take them as an authority. So if to, tomorrow I because I have an Instagram followers of around twelve hundred. So if I go to them and promote an ebook. I, I know there are a lot of buyers which are there. I can make at least sixty thousand rupees upfront. Why? Because I have built my audience before time. I have started delivering value even when I didn't have a website. Mm. And then now I have a website. I can send the traffic to there. I have a subdomain which is known as podcast. dot current barwin. dot com, mm. where I send all my listeners to listen to the podcast. Mm. And again, that's building my authority. Next time I promote any product, they will buy it. can you like just say like what is the most important thing about seo for a website owner can do good content good content yeah nothing beats that let mm-hmm. me tell you that you should first first focus on building good content mm-hmm. the rest is technical aspects which mm-hmm. you can building backlinks mm-hmm. doing that is technical you can learn how to do it but mm-hmm. if your base which is content because google right now prefers a good content because google sees that if a user is going to website how much time is he spending there if he is just bouncing back it gives the signal to google right that he didn't like the content any website owner should make sure that your content is very much engaging it it keeps keeps the user attracted to your website it doesn't get him go for example what you can do to reward the bounce rate and you know increase the session time you can embed your youtube videos which we have built around that mm-hmm. particular topic now when a person is coming down he would also would like to see a youtube video he would touch the youtube button he would now see that video automatically that video if it's of 5 minutes he would yeah. spend more time he mm. spend the 5 minutes so this right. gives a good direction to google that this website is creating valuable content next you can also create a podcast episode around that so you have you have embedded instagram carousel inside your uh, blog post correct right. and you you do video and a podcast mm. episode that time increasing the session duration and reducing the bounce rate and giving a signal to google that this content is good so when you say buy what exactly are the best products to sell you know like uh, starting you can start yeah. with ebooks right ebooks are one of the yes ebook yeah yes it's an example examples like what kind of ebooks will sell very well for example uh, if you are in the social media marketing niche mm-hmm. you can sell an ebook which says 101 social media marketing strategies which you can implement 101 social media marketing strategies which you can implement and get results okay. we have used these same strategies for our clients okay. which has generated more than 2000 dollars in revenue in a month okay now this is a good headline this is a good topic for an ebook okay this was an entry to okay. your funnel mm-hmm. right so you are now sold to them now they would go through your content yeah now what next you can sell you can sell a consultation or a mentorship or okay. a course but i would have suggest this sell a consultation mm-hmm. in which you are giving them lots of value on strategies you can for your first understanding their problems and then you are giving them solutions mm-hmm. that way you have already if if one customer buys an ebook worth 399 rupees and he buys a consultation worth 191 triple 9 rupees so he is already a customer the lifetime value of customer is around um 2400 right mm-hmm. so imagine if you acquire a customer from facebook ad if you run this facebook ad and you're spending around 50 rupees acquiring that customer mm-hmm. that customer is now in your facebook group or an email list and now you have sold him a total products worth of 2500 rupees imagine the roi and the profit you're generating okay. that's how you have to think you have to create a funnel in the back end so if you're a blogger your thing could be on the website you can have a ebook on the sidebars what bloggers can do they can start with blogging ideas like you know a lot of bloggers start a website of how to start a blog so for example deepak right what deepak has done is he has named top 10 digital marketing agencies in bangalore so what how he has monetized it he has asked those agencies that see i have this number of traffic these many people now and i will be writing an article and i will be featuring you this is the cost mm-hmm. let me know if you want to get featured in it mm-hmm. deepak is already a high authority blog mm-hmm. through this a lot of digital marketing agencies can get a lot of projects from yeah. people or business owners who are visiting that page yeah that's how bloggers can monetize what about affiliate products like does that work for a beginner yeah of course it works because mm-hmm. beginner affiliates always sell hosting services if you have seen host gator services amne bechi apne blue host ki bechi you have you have sold we are wealthy you can also use quick funnels 
you know you heard of quick funnels right the landing page builder the affiliate program of quick funnels is a recurring commission mm-hmm. every month so if a blogger is very enough or comes from a very to do background mm-hmm. he can start with that but if he is not he can start with hosting accounts hosting from hostgator you know from google host he can put that if he is using is using scm rush you can he can use a scm rush affiliate program mm-hmm. right he can promote that to his guest he can put a side bar on a website he can mm-hmm. put deals right he can put tools which he is using but you should have an authority you should trust those products first if those products came out to be crappy eventually your image is on stake so yeah. you should make sure that products which you are promoting have good authority in the market based on your experience what would you say are the most common mistakes that people make when making their site all right one thing is that they don't choose the right hosting which we have done okay we have done we have chose the wrong hosting first so maybe they should make sure that they should go with good hosting mm-hmm. and because speed matters you know that right what is the importance of speed and if you don't have a good hosting provider if it, the speed is not good you're dead you, you know your bounce rate would increase when you you won't rank so make sure that you have a good hosting service provider with good support with free ssl certificate with good bandwidth second you should buy a good domain name all right domain name research is very important people don't you know spend much time on domain name there are multiple tools to find good domain names and there are multiple experts in the market which can recommend you good domain names to buy mm-hmm. in your niche all right mm-hmm. so you make sure that you these two things are critical you get these things done so third is choosing a theme so we i recommend generate press or astra it's better to go for a theme which has page builder supported next you have to research your content what you have to put out a lot of a lot of people don't uh, think much about their content right they just research and then they just write anything and that comes out if your first few pieces of content are not good that won't make sense in the long term you won't expect a traffic on a crappy written blog post you expect a traffic on a good written blog post a lot of people don't organize their website they just you know put anything about us kind or dal diya they you know color pattern color pattern they don't choose their logo color is different their website's theme is different Mm-hmm. so this way your brand image is not being showcased yeah if your color of the logo is orange make sure that your website theme is also connected with that next thing is people a lot of bloggers don't have google analytics installed next thing is you don't create a site map you do you're not aware about how to submit it to google search console make sure that you submit your website to google search console at the same time take your blog as a business don't take a blog as a hobby because eventually you are investing your domain you're investing your hosting cost you're investing money on generate press or any theme you choose you are investing your money on hiring someone if you are not able to write content yourself you are hiring them so if you don't have any business strategy attached to your blog you won't make money right because if you're taking it as a hobby you won't you won't be motivated to write write content for yourself so make sure that you have a business strategy attached before you start a blog or even if you are developing a blog at the night you can create a business strategy um next i would recommend is um having good plugins having the only plugins which are required on the website not overloading the website with unnecessary plugins and also have an seo strategy in place from the starting keep doing your on page seo a lot of people what they do is they create their whole website and then they start with on page seo what i would recommend is do your keyword research alongside your you know creating a blog and keep doing your on page seo with each blog post you promote for example if you've written a blog post make sure that you insert the meta title description you know micro data data schema markup is in place and uh, you make sure that your you know your perma links are you know your url is very much similar to what a blog topic is to rank better on google you have also installed you are tracking that content a lot of you what they don't do is they don't track their content how can a person you know figure out which topics i have to cover you know which topics i have to write the create the content for okay so how do you pick how do you pick the right uh, topics correct so one is looking at competitors of course mm-hmm. uh, go to competitor websites see what they are writing upon okay. and create better content content than that second is you go to various websites like buzz sumo mm-hmm. and uh, answer the public.com there's a website known as answer the public.com mm-hmm. where you can write any topic and mm. that website throws up five scenarios mm. where the question starts from what how can i you know these five questions are are a branch all right or we can see their roots and there are different mm. questions which are connected to it 
how do i figure out that this content is you know has a lot of audience or there could be content or topics which are like very few people are such yeah sem rush has a content explorer right you know you can for example hrefs also has a content explorer as i know so there you can put your content title and see how many keywords are related to that content are being searched on google mm-hmm. this way you can get an idea for example if you writing on uh, where can i get the best dog food from this mm-hmm. is your content topic mm-hmm. you now go to google and see if if people are searching for it if people are searching for it if it has a search volume it means key it has potential common okay. sense so if you see different people writing about it it means ki they have, if you see expert bloggers writing on the content it means ki they you know know that that this content will work the competition you know if the competitor is already an authority you have less chance as a beginner to outrank him so correct. you better choose a less competitive keyword correct you can do that yeah you can start you can start with the long tail keywords also so do long- you think any content can be beaten or is there um, It, it can be here. it can be beaten any content you know doesn't matter who is the person or no, the story today it can be beaten yeah. yeah i've seen i've seen a lot of my you know bloggers mm-hmm. who started the journey and their websites are ranking right now okay. only because they have written good content and you are very uh, highly uh, uh, recommending google search console no so yeah. what would you say is the difference between a site which uses the search console and a site which doesn't uses and lets google you know find it by itself Okay so the big best advantage of Google, using Google search console is it gives you the data from the Google's point of view. Mm-hmm. You can track you can track for which keywords are you ranking for actually. Mm-hmm. And that data is more trusted than SEMrush, Ahrefs or any particular tool in the world because yeah. you Google is giving the data to you. Correct. So for example uh, what how it benefited to us what I am giving you we were ranking for the keyword digital marketing agency in Bangalore. Mm-hmm. so we when we saw that we saw the number of searches we saw what's the average position we are ranking on mm-hmm. below that google also pointed out that in which potential keywords we can also rank for oh right for example the keywords for digital marketing agencies in bangalore okay. social media marketing company in bangalore so th- these keywords you have not used on your site but you have the potential of ranking yes so, so you can create content for it yes That's so awesome. when you when you know that you know yeah. that content there's a potential content to be written and you are just one step away from writing that content and promoting it very heavily and tracking for that keyword too so out of all the platforms which are there right the social media youtube and the podcast websites uh, which one do you think is the most best performing platform all you of know, them all of them so <laughs> is there any particular platform you would suggest you know you start or here you will be a... youtube is youtube is bouncing youtube is mm-hmm. going crazy so you have to be present omni channel i am also writing an article on omni channel why omni channel marketing is the future of digital marketing so okay. i am writing on that because i have seen benefits from that myself experienced the importance of being present everywhere if i if i can benefit from it of course a lot of people who can benefit from the same so so that's all the questions i have karan like all the <laughs> your tips you have given has been very very valuable i should say and sham you are doing a great job with website learners i saw the video it was crazy with only 30 videos you were able to get around 5 lakh subscribers i think you won't be reaching it there soon but you have done a great job what the because i've i've, I've got a feedback from people when i heard, when i announced that i am get going on website learners podcast they said i have learned a lot from website learners they have helped me a lot i i began my journey from website learners So that's the feedback i got and i was so happy that you know <laughs> when nathan reached out to me that i would be able to add value to uh, your audience so i hope mm-hmm. they got value and thanks for having me once again yeah thank you karan thank you so much sham take care and stay yeah. safe take care <laughs>